Hello everyone. Today in this video, I am going to share with you an interesting uh, creative online teaching tip. We, we are using Google Classroom and teaching via Google Meet. Taking an attendance is an integral part of uh, teaching and learning. Every day, students, they join different classes. And sometimes it becomes hectic for a teacher to mark their attendance in an online mode. Some of the teachers are using Google Meet uh, extensions also for marking their attendance. But I found this technique as uh, quite unus unusual and unique. And it is easy for a uh, teacher to record the attendance. So for taking the Google Meet attendance, here I am going to take you to a spreadsheet. This has been shared by one of my friends. I have not created it. I'm just uh, doing an experiment in front of you. So you can see that uh, this is the attendance sheet. Now, when you see this attendance sheet, something has been copied over here. So what I'm going to do is we'll be deleting it. So it is now the blank template, fine. So how it will help us in aggregating the attendance. So I am giving you the demonstration how it will help. So in this sheet, you can see that there are four columns, A, B, C, and D. This is a Google Sheet. And in the first column, it is written that uh, we have to paste chat from the meet. What, do, what does this mean? That means when you are in a class, in the Google class, tell the children to write present in the Google Meet. So right now I have with me some of my colleagues who are helping me to experiment on this sheet. So I request all of you to kindly write present in the chat box. Thank you so much. I can see some of them have already written. Please write the word present in the chat box. So when the students, they enter the class, first step is that the teacher is telling them, please write down present in the chat box. Or they can tell them, they can write any other word which is decided by the teacher. Uh, now, what is the st second step? Second step is copy this uh, chat by selecting and control C and then go back to this sheet. And in the cell A2, paste it. See what has happened. In the column B, we are getting the repeated names. In, in the column C, we are getting the unique names. And then in the column D, all the sorted names are there. Now, with the help of these sorted names, we can quickly see from the attendance sheet who all have not attended the class and mark them as absent in the Google Sheet. So how we can do that? Say, for example, I'm teaching uh, uh, 10th class. And in 10th class, I have uh, four sections to teach. So what I will do is, in the Google Drive, I will be making one folder in the name of attendance. 2020-21. And then in this attendance 2020-21, what is the next step? Next step is create a Google Sheet. So create a Google Sheet in that folder. So click on new and then a Google Sheet then blank spreadsheet. You can uh, name this sheet as attendance 2020-21. So this will be for all the sections which you are teaching. And then here, like you create your uh, student name list according to their roll number, you make that student roll number, their name, and then put the dates of which you are marking the attendance. For example, today is 25th June. So I'm writing here, I, I'm taking the class on 25th June, so 25, 6, 2020. Next day, say for example, tomorrow is my class, 26, 6, 2020. So this way, 
we will be having the roll numbers and the names of the students and for the particular date you have to compare like who is absent from this uh, demo sheet then uh, you can see say for example one child is absent and then you come back to this sheet and in front of that uh, child's name write down f absent if that child has not attended the class uh, maybe on the next day also the child was absent maybe on the next day the child uh, was absent then you can contact that child okay you have missed my three of the classes you can call that child so this will really give you a clear picture who all are attending your classes and who are not and it is very important because we have to uh, maintain a uh, bonding with the children and uh, we have to take care that what is the problem if the children are not coming to the classroom now uh, this is sheet number one so i will rename it say for example uh, 10th a is the first section which i'm teaching and then add sheet two similarly create the sheet for that rename it as say for example 10 c i am teaching and you can keep on adding the sheets here and you have to go to only one folder that is the attendance folder and you you can keep this uh, sheet uh, open in another tab also when you are uh, taking the class in the google meet that will really really help you i hope uh, this technique will uh, help you in uh, taking the attendance in the google meet and then uh, recording it in a proper way in your Google folder on a attendance sheet. Thank you so much for watching. If you have uh, any question, you can ask.